innocent mind is like the mind that I had when I was very young. And I feel I have it even now, the same mind. Looking around, watching the st stars, clouds, sky, birds, swinging leaves, hearing the wind chime. Whatever happens, yeah, also the wind blowing through, shaking the trees here and there, and the bees and the insect, all the delicate movement, ants, and the innocent mind works as if that's the first time. Fresh mind, amazement of how the nature manifests itself in so many different forms. Yet over time, I think our mind may get corrupted. That may not be the right expression, but to a degree, I believe that's true. And the eyes that have the amazement, like you see in child, maybe year old, two year, three year old, I don't know. The curiosity and as if no defense on their part, just absorb everything as it is. And it appears almost very wise, the innocent mind, is very wise mind to see things as they are without the filter. And what I sense is that uh, we still have it, except there may be few filters covering up every now and then. And without knowing that the filters Without knowing, we feel like a bird in the cage, hitting the head, bouncing, trying to get out of it. Because things don't get done as you expect. But when you are innocent, nothing to expect, you just accept everything as they are. Any curiosity or deep insight or to absorb what's going on as they are. Just like a meditative mind. And you have gone through meditation. I've done quite a bit. Ten days meditation is very common for me, at Vipassana. Do remember the first time and the second, third and dozen times the freshness of the environment. The tree is not the tree anymore. But it is still the tree. But it's so vivid, alive. And you can connect resonate with them because you are also innocent as much as the trees are as much as i remember dear it was a hot day at lunchtime afterward i found the shade so i was sitting quiet <laughs> and the, the deer was sitting next to me maybe five meters away I just didn't notice it. And then after a while, after just resting and observing, I'm sure the deer was doing the same. And we didn't <laughs> exchange anything. We just didn't know, or he knew it, but I didn't know he was there. And then he moved a little bit. Then I realized that there was a deer and he started to move away. Maybe he rested enough and he moved on his own next you know, task, whatever, as the nature may lead him to be. 
and I was a bit surprised because we had the same space between us. Perhaps I was in no mind as much as uh, we can call again here the innocent mind or no mind with a clouded sense of I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to achieve this, I have to go there, I have to make so much money, buy this and do this and none of that. <laughs> the state of being, being as it is. I think, or I want to believe, maybe both, the world is shifting. Many people realize the importance of state of being innocent mind connecting to the trees connecting to the people at certain wavelength length, different from the do this do that and when you compare to the big city people moving around nobody talking nobody's watching they're busy with their own thinking maybe they have some earphone to listen to I don't know what they listen to as they walk or in the train or bus, whatever the case is. I believe things are changing and things need to change. Eckhart Tolle talked about those in his books, but the new earth, new earth. He talks about the collective uh, pain body. Uh, we may have some pain body, meaning the burden that we carried from generations because of the habitual pattern and the suffering and how to defend, to live. But that burden has increased because of this rapid change of technology lots of information jumping around and we need to have time to sort things out. Some may go into a very difficult situation, unfortunate, but others may find because the body is telling something has to be done, not the brain. If you read all the stuff and uh, whatever the inflation rate or the <laughs> you know, stock market movement and the news and what goes wrong, what goes wrong and what's the problem, war, political situation. I think we are wising up and we need to wise up. I'm at age 74 in four more days. I call it every day is my birthday, but I want to do something for myself to have this innocent mind, keep on having it, appreciating it, and sharing it. And I want to share with whatever means I can think of, including this voice memo or the video. It doesn't matter if nobody listens. And I know there's a need. Well, that's what I think, or how I feel. I have worked in the company as a consultant and see how things happen. Every department has their own language, different view, and they have their own approach, so to speak, and the top in the shop floor. their blockage and my job was to clean up the flow of the information, understanding, develop the teamwork, make the process clear, understandable, comprehensible, and work together. As much as the company I believe need to go through well, I don't have much more time to do this work. I'm still working with companies. 
but not just the companies, but the people within to clean up, find the blockages and relief, to become what I call transparent with the innocent mind. I notice lots of people talking more about it. I just was checking the synchronicity of the word Carl Jung coin. I didn't know that was him. But his insight was very to the point as far as I can tell. It's a state of awareness, state of being, being with the nature's way, connected to the root. And everybody, everything is connected to the root. So that if we have that sense, eyes open to the, the third eye, we may call it, and have the sense of transparency, the resonance and connection, everything is manifestation of the same principle way of how the laws of the universe is prevailing. And I'm sure there's a way, there must be a way to be sane to live in this world and appreciate what we can instead of being consumed there are lots of potential and as much as the negativity we can see in the internet or the web there's wonderful wonderful stories even tears may come out just thinking about these people sharing connecting maybe a silent majority because it's a subjective experience and nothing to be proud of because we just uh, do what we think makes sense. There's a war in Ukraine and some people get together around the world and have this piano or violin or singing the Ukrainian anthem. This happens. It comes out of somewhere from the root that we have. So let's see what we can do. The hurdles are there, but that's what meant to be. To live is not simple. By definition, everything left alone would crumble. That's the law of entropy. To live is to go against the law of entropy, to share your aliveness prevail, renew it, and move on. Why not? I see the poplar tree in the back and Hohotataka, another tree up front in the sun, swinging in the wind. I feel like they are agreeing to what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't want to sound this like a hypnotized or some crazy state. To me, like I said, innocent mind is the basic state. Okay, we can be fooled. So that's the danger. But having realizing, having references and cautionally situation that can protect ourselves so that we won't be invaded by the fake news and misunderstanding. That's the journey to go against the law of entropy. And that's needed for all of us in the future. Even the ones who create those insane situation may wise up sometime because we have the same source we share it as Christ may have said forgive them for they don't know what they are doing of course we may not know what we may be doing so at the same boat that we can be innocent and learn as if to revisit the Garden of Eden 
and on. To use the flame, not to be abused by the flame. Thank you. Best wishes.